Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data, and in this video you're going to learn how to use the different bidding strategies available in Google Ads. We'll cover manual bidding and automatic bidding, and how you can use them to meet your advertising objectives. The bidding strategy you use with your campaigns in Google Ads impacts how often your ads will appear, and it's also linked to how often people will engage with your ads. This means it's important to choose the right bidding strategy for your ads. Let's take a look at the different options we can use as we manage our campaigns. When it comes to our Google Ads campaigns, we can choose from a manual bidding strategy where we set the maximum we want to spend on any given click, or we can use an automated bidding strategy, which is designed to achieve a particular result based on our campaign objectives. So let's take a look at these. For our search campaigns, we can select from a range of different bidding strategies. First, there is target CPA. This is one of the automated bidding strategies. Target CPA is where we set a target cost per acquisition amount. This relies on having conversion tracking configured for our account. This option allows us to define the amount we want to spend on a particular conversion action once someone has traveled through to our website. This allows us to move from a CPC bid to a cost per acquisition bid. For example, rather than setting a maximum bid of a dollar a click, we could now say that we want to spend $10 for a lead on our website. Then we have target ROAS for return on advertising spend. This also requires the use of conversion tracking in order to use the bidding strategy. What it does is it allows us to put in a percentage that we want to see on top of the amount we're spending inside Google Ads. For example, if we put in 500%, then that would mean we want to see $5 for every dollar spent within our campaigns. We then have Maximize Clicks, which will try and achieve the maximum number of clicks possible within your daily spend amount. Next is Maximize Conversions. Maximize Conversions makes use of the conversion tracking configured for our account and means that the bid will automatically be adjusted in order to try and gain as many conversions as possible within our daily budget amount. Then there is target search page location. This allows to set the objective of trying to reach the top of the paid results when people are searching on Google. Then there is target outranking share. This is ideal if you have a particular competitor that you'd like to appear above in the paid results. So what we do is we enter the domain name for the particular competitor and the system will try and automate our bidding so we outrank them as we're competing for visibility on Google. We also have Enhanced CPC, which is quite similar to the Maximize Conversions bid strategy. But with Enhanced CPC, you do have the flexibility of setting individual bids at the ad group and the individual keyword levels for your search campaigns. Target Impression Share is an automated bidding strategy which aims to show your ads at the very top of the paid search results, above the organic search results or anywhere on the search results page. You select where you'd like your ads to show and then set an impression share target. For example, setting a target of 50% for the top of the results page will aim to show your ads for at least half of all available impressions in the top positions above the organic results. Finally, there is manual CPC. This gives you full control over your bids. This is where you set the maximum you want to spend on any given click within the campaign. We actually set a default bid at the ad group level, but we also have the ability to set our own manual bid at the individual keyword level as well. So they're all of the different bidding strategies that we have for our search campaigns. Next, we have bidding strategies for display campaigns. You'll notice there is some overlap. For example, we have target CPA, target ROAS, maximize clicks, and manual CPC, as we've just covered for our search campaigns. These all work in the same way for display. We can also see the additional option of bidding for a viewable CPM. This is where the impression for our display ad needs to be visible. Our ad needs to be above the fold as someone's browsing a site on the display network. This allows us to set the maximum we want to spend for a thousand impressions. CPM is cost per thousand impressions. Let's head to Google Ads and look at how to set our bidding strategy. Inside our account, we see the different campaigns we're managing on the left. Let's select a search campaign and select Settings. 
We can then see the current bidding strategy. For this campaign, the bidding strategy is set to maximize clicks. I can click on my current bidding strategy to make changes. Here I can see there are some additional options for the maximize clicks bidding strategy. I can set an upper bid limit and I can enable enhanced CPC. Enabling enhanced CPC will automatically adjust my bids if a conversion is likely. This is based on conversion data in the account and it uses Google's machine learning to determine if someone is likely to convert. If you are using the maximize clicks bidding strategy, then I recommend setting an upper cap. Otherwise, there is no limit to the maximum cost per click. We can also see there is an option to change the bidding strategy for the campaign. Let's click Change Bid Strategy. We can now see Google Ads lets us set a focus or objective for our campaign. It's recommending clicks, but we can also change this by clicking on the recommendation. We can then change it to conversions, conversion value, or impression share. Each of these objectives has different options. For example, let's select conversions. We can now see we have the option to set the maximum we'd like to spend for each conversion on our website. When we set a focus for our bidding strategy, we'll use one of the automated bidding strategies we've already discussed. We can see for conversions that it's going to use maximize conversions. If you want more control over the bidding strategy for your campaign, then you need to click select a bid strategy directly. We can now select from all the options we've covered, including the automated bidding strategies and manual CPC. Just remember that target CPA, target ROAS, maximize conversions, and enhance CPC all require conversion tracking to be configured inside your Google Ads account. Once you're happy with the bidding strategy you've selected, click Save. This bidding strategy will now be applied to your campaign and you can follow the same steps to check and change the bidding strategy used for your display campaigns. Just select a display campaign and choose settings. So that's how we can change the bidding strategies inside our Google Ads account. Now I also wanted to touch on two other important topics that relate to bidding, bid adjustments and daily budget. Bid adjustments are applied to the bidding strategy you've selected to further refine your bidding strategy. There are different types of bid adjustments you can apply to your campaign. They are location, ad schedule, devices, and call bid adjustments for your search campaigns. Let's select devices under settings. Here we can see that bid adjustments have been applied to mobile phones and tablets. We can see that the final bid for someone using mobile phones will be increased by 10% and the final bid for someone using a tablet will be decreased by 25%. Let's say we had set a maximum CPC as the bid strategy for the campaign and we had a maximum bid of $1. This would mean that our bid for mobile devices would be $1.10 and for tablets would be $0.75. Cents. Bid adjustments let you refine your bidding strategy without needing to manage multiple campaigns. You can also set bid adjustments based on location, the times of day your ads are displayed, and to show call extensions more often. It's also important to highlight that your bidding strategy and bid adjustments work alongside your daily budget. You can find your daily budget by heading back to settings. Our daily budget is the amount we want to spend for the campaign. The actual daily spend can vary on any given day. This is to account for fluctuations in search and impressions across the display network. However, you'll never spend more than 30.4 times your daily budget amount in a calendar month, as long as you don't modify the daily budget amount. Just remember that when you're setting your bids, this will work inside your daily budget amount. So that's how you can use the different bidding strategies inside Google Ads. Start by choosing a bidding strategy that aligns with the objectives that you've defined for the campaign. You might find that you use different bidding strategies for campaigns with different objectives. And remember that bidding strategies work in combination with your budget. So make sure your bids and budget work together to achieve the outcomes you're aiming for. If you want to learn more about Google Ads, then join me in my Google Ads course, where you'll learn practical skills you can apply to your own campaigns. You can find a link to join the course in the description below this video. Which bidding strategies are you using in Google Ads? Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. See you next time.